What's up, legends? So the Yeezy November 2020 lineup has officially been announced. We have all the release dates. We know what releases are on the way. And I can tell you, man, I'm really excited about these, man. We got four different releases dropping. We got a Yeezy 350 V2, a 700 V3, as well as a 380, and our first 500 low of the year so far. So this is definitely gonna be an exciting month for all the Yeezy lovers, man. And let's go ahead and take a look at these and share our opinions. So first up, very oddly, on November 11th, which is a Wednesday, we have the Yeezy 350 V2, in the fade colorway dropping. Now these were originally named the Yatra colorway, but of course we've had a bunch of different name changes. Now I can tell you, if you know me, you know the Yeezy 350 V2, man, I'm kind of really just over the silhouette. I feel like we've had enough releases and I don't really need any more of them. But I can say that this is still a cool colorway, man. Very unique as far as the stitching, the prime knit, the mixture of colors it has like this really faded brown which i feel like does stand out as well and i know a lot of people are really excited about these but i can say man these are probably going to be a pass for me personally still a fire shoe so next up actually three days later on saturday november 14th we're gonna get the yeezy 700 v3 in the safflower colorway and if y'all know me man y'all know that the yeezy 700 v3 is my favorite silhouette I love the V3 and I really like this Safflower colorway. Now, of course, the Safflower colorway was originally named the Seraphim colorway. I love how it's very similar to this Azale colorway, but of course, the midsole is a lot more tan, the toe box is a bit more tan, and then you got that really nice touch of yellow going through the prime knit here. So, I'm definitely really excited about the Safflower colorway. I feel like, man, those are one that I gotta have, man, most definitely. Now the next release is gonna be coming up on Black Friday, November 27th. We got the Yeezy 380 in the Onyx colorway. Now this is gonna be the full reflective version that's gonna drop on the 27th. And then the next day on Saturday morning, November 28th, we're gonna get the non-reflective version. So this Onyx colorway, man, Everyone's really hyped about these. A lot of people have been sleeping on the 380s, but this is going to be the first darker tone, pretty much the closest thing you're going to get to an all black 380. So I know a lot of people are going to go for these. I think this might be one of the most hyped 380s of the year for sure. I'm definitely curious to see them in hand. I know that I was very hyped about them when I seen the mock-ups. But once I've seen the final production of the shoe, it does look very different from what I was expecting in the mock-ups, but still very curious to see them in hand, so I'm looking forward to that release for sure. Now the last release is gonna be two days later on November 30th. We're gonna get a restock of some sort, but I can say it's not really a restock, it's more of a re-release because they are gonna be producing new pairs. We are gonna get the Yeezy 500 in the Utility Black colorway. Now this is an iconic 500, man. Salute to my bro, the 500 King, Prince Mark Anthony. My boy said this is like an everyday wear for him. So I'm definitely excited about these. Even though it's an all black 500, it's really like more of a grayish or charcoal tone. So it's not really all black, so it's still very versatile and you can wear it with a lot of stuff. And this is gonna be our first and maybe only 500 low for the year unless it's some type of surprise and I'm really hoping we get a lot more 500s in 2021 But definitely excited about the utility black release man the most anticipated release for November for me is definitely going to be the 700 v3 safflower That's definitely the most anticipated release for me must cop but I think another must cop for me as well is going to be the Onyx colorway, the 380, definitely gonna grab those, take a look at them, see if it does like change my mind when I see them in hand. As well as the Utility Black, I'm definitely gonna grab those. I feel like that's an iconic 500. I feel like it's a very versatile wear, so I'm definitely gonna go for those. But like I said before, man, I'm gonna go ahead and pass on the 350 V2 fade, but I think it's gonna be a huge release. 
and I know a lot of people are gonna be looking forward to those as well. The lineup is looking very exciting. It's very odd because we got releases on Wednesdays and then we got a release on a Friday. And then the first two are very close together and then it's a pretty big gap. And then the last two are very close together as well. So it's gonna be a very interesting month. But you guys, leave me a comment and tell me which ones are you looking forward to the most? And even just let me know which ones are a must cop for you as well, man. Now this morning, we also saw the release of the Yeezy 380 in the Calcite Glow colorway. Now, I feel like people are really still sleeping on the 380s, man. This was a very easy cop. Now I was able to secure my pair from Yeezy Supply and it was very, very easy to get through the queue. I already told you guys how to get through. So if you haven't watched my Yeezy Quantum Teal Blue review, make sure you go back and watch that so you know all the steps that you need to take to get through on Yeezy Supply. Even after the queue pretty much closed, they were still available and up on Yeezy Supply. So you could have went in, it was still a full size run. It was very easy to grab these. I would say it was just a pretty easy cop overall and people are still sleeping on the 380. But I think these will continue to rise over time. I feel like it's a very clean colorway. I feel like that glow really makes it stand out. And once they stop making 380s, I feel like that's when people are gonna start to appreciate them more. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel because I will have a review coming soon of the Yeezy 380 and the Calcite Glow colorway. So turn your post notifications on so you know when it drops. That's pretty much it on this one, man. I thank you guys very, very much for taking the time to watch the video, man. I wanna take this moment to send big, big blessings to everybody that's been supporting me so far, man. Couldn't do it without you and I can't thank you enough. Also, you guys, make sure you tune into the Yeezy Talk podcast every single Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time with my bro J.A., my bro Prince Mark Anthony, and my bro St. Kenzis. Now, we do a Yeezy Fit Battle at the end of the program, man, and we've been having so much fun with it. If you like to have your fit featured in the battle, make sure you tag us all in your Instagram photos and your best Yeezy fits. I'm going to have everybody's IG in the description below. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it on this one, man. And I can't thank you enough for watching the video. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel right now. Make sure that you like the video and leave me a comment. Tell me which one of these releases you're looking forward to the most, as well as which ones are a must cop in your book, man. But that's pretty much it. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Salute to you, legends.